Welcome to Airlines 101 with Laura. Have you ever been at your local airport and looked out in the field and wondered, what are all these antennas and little structures that I see all around the airport? And sometimes they're clustered in one location. Well, today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of what's called the Automated Surface Observing System, or ASOS for short. And this tour was filmed at East Texas Regional Airport in September of 2020. First, we had to get permission to go across the taxiway to the site. East Texas Ground, Letourneau Jacket Group 1, ready to cross Kilo to the perimeter road. Letourneau Jacket Group 1, East Texas Ground, proceed as requested. Proceed as requested, Jacket Group 1. So the first thing we got to see was the RTS or transmitter site that allows ATC to talk to aircraft flying at the airport. The next thing, this very small weather station is SAWS, and it is an FAA owned station. There's also a support structure that's nearby the installation, and it is equipped with a generator so that it has backup power and a diesel fuel tank to provide power for all the instruments, even if there is any kind of power outage. And this notice is posted all around the facility. So I wanna make it clear, I had permission to be here and I was escorted by an air traffic controller. Then I got to see the actual ASOS system or the Automated Surface Observing System. And I just wanna tell you about each of these sensors and what they all do. So we'll start by looking up at the anemometer. And this is a digital anemometer. It's all digital. It captures movement of the air through solid state sensors. So there's no little cup spinning thing around anymore. Next, we have a visibility sensor. What it does, it sends out a little pulse of light and then a sensor on the other side records it. So if you see the zoomed in here and watch for the little flash of light, the other side of the sensor is then recording what is going on, what the visibility is, how much of the light it can see. This is our altimeter setter, setting sensor and ice detector. And then as we go down the line of sensors, the next sensor, the box type sensor you see, is the coelometer. So this is sending out a little beam to look for clouds and detect any clouds overhead. This is inside the coelometer. So you can see there's a lens which is gonna send up a beam to see what it sees for the ceiling. At the end of the line is this rain gauge which collects precipitation and the precipitation can go inside this collector through the small hole there and be analyzed to see what type of sensor, what type of precipitation the sensor thinks it's seeing. Now right near this installation is also a windsock and on the day that I was out, it's about half inflated, meaning since it's rated for 15 knots, it's showing about seven knots of wind at this point. The last thing I was able to visit out in the field was this. This is the RVR transmissometer. So again, another similar device where we have a pulse of light sent to another sensor that records to see how much light it can see and then records our runway visibility range. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our ASOS system here at East Texas Regional Airport.